his mods of grape seed. Please leave a message if you have any information relating to the whereabouts of unaccounted for delinquents. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. <laughs> You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go! Please! I beg you, if you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't, but we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. manners, chef! These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Cheng and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung! <laughs> nice to meet you. 
Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! Uh, I knew we were having visitors! What is that, a little spring clean? Ortega has always been cool with us before! Shot! 
stop! Let's get to the front! Excuse me! Get behind here! They're coming in! He's gonna die in this shithole! Tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Oh. I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, 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 I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! You're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet hey. one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker! No! Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we on, exactly, up, huh? Get up. Uh, sorry, man. We're help. sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun!
Take it out the track, Sandy Shook. Cars. You couldn't keep your mouth shut, could ya? I just hope that broke your goddamn neck!
that was entirely your fault! Charlie, you out there? There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. That's a good distance there. Go on, put them down. Big as you get. Very nice. Hey, I, I thought you was having fun. Where are you going? There's still elk in there. Stop wandering about like a fart in a pair of pants. 
All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him? Pull the trigger. Heart shot, like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.